Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ace Otero and in today's Pick a Card Greeting, we are going to be looking at somebody's first impressions of you versus how they see you now. So this is not necessarily a love reading. You can ask about anybody that's on your mind. Um, I'm going to be making it as neutral as possible, though do be aware that there are plenty of people who do come to these readings with the intention of asking about a romantic interest. So if you do get in romantic messages and you're asking about somebody that you are not romantically connected to, just filter those out and remember to only take what resonates. Now, if this does resonate, there will be an extended where we are going to look at what is next for this connection, what is next for the both of you, and what you can expect in the upcoming few months with this person. But we have four piles to choose from today, starting with pile one. We have the Super Lunaris Tarot, as well as this beautiful Larimar Palm Stone. And then for pile two, we have the Moon Power Tarot and this beautiful Thulite Heart. And then for pile three, we have the Luna Soul Tarot as well as this Golden Healer Palm Stone. And then finally for pile four, we have the Mystic Mondays Tarot as well as this Amethyst Carved gemstone. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. It's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one. You could be asking about multiple people. You could really be asking about whatever you want. Um, there's really no right or wrongs here. Take what resonates, discard what doesn't. Information is useless to you unless it brings you some sort of benefit. So don't let anything take from you. Once you have picked your pile or piles, you can go ahead and scroll down to the description box or the comment section where I will have all the timestamps for each pile listed below. And then once you have picked your pile or piles, we will go ahead and get into your reading. Hi there, pile one. If you guys chose the Larimar Palm Stone and the Super Lunaris Tarot, this is going to be your reading all about how the person on your mind first saw you, what their first impressions were, versus how they see you now. So I'm going to go ahead and start by shuffling your tarot and we'll start by looking at their first impressions of you. Yeah. These guys are a little bit sticky, aren't they? So in this reading today, we'll be looking at their first impressions and then we'll look at how, you, how they see you now. We'll finish off with some advice from your spirit guides. And then if this reading resonates, you will have the option to extend it down below where we will be looking at what is in the near future for this connection and where this connection is headed. Reminder that this does not have to be a romantic connection. This can be any type of connection that you're asking for, but take any romance connections if you're asking about a platonic or familial connection let those just fly on by. So, spirit, how did the person on, yeah. Okay, that's too many, that's too many. Okay, but this one must come out. How did the person on pile one's mind um, first see pile one? Okay, we have the page of pentacles. We have the eight of swords. How else did they see pile one, spirit? Okay, um, this is a random message. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, I don't know if anybody's into the Jonas Brothers, but as I was setting up for this reading, uh, I just heard like, sweet mama, it's the Jonas Brothers, which is from an episode of Hannah Montana. Um, so maybe that's significant, but like, I don't know why it just popped in my head and it felt significant to say. Um, we also have the Nine of Wands. Take two more, please, Spirit. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. 
we have the world upright and on the back of the deck is this the nine yeah we have the nine of swords in reverse Whew. this is some energy <laughs> okay so now let's look at your oracles so to start we have the sacral chakra the frequency of the sacral chakra the orange flower of life supports our ability to flow with our desires stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives we also have number seven personal growth we have forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love we also have the gazelle we have security we have afraid of the attic and we have i am sacred so there is a lot of orange and purple energy out here um, which will represent the sacral chakra as well as the crown or third eye chakras i also think it's interesting that you picked the larimar um, palm stone because larimar is a very watery looking stone and water is the element associated with the sacral chakra now I can definitely see that this person, I feel like you met this person when you were either going through a rough time or you were coming out of a difficult time. This person definitely noticed that you were not on your A game, so to speak. Um, and maybe that's because at that time you didn't even know what your A game was. They recognized that there was an inherent specialness to you and that you had been working hard to improve yourself. I don't know if you have mutual friends with this person or something like that, because with forgiveness to be out here for their first impressions, they may have noticed, um, they may have known about things that happened in your past that you'd been letting go of, or they had noticed that despite your difficult experiences, you weren't stopping those from allowing you to be somewhat open and i say somewhat open because we definitely have some energies of resistance here and some energies of mental mental fatigue and also just like mental hyperactivity um this could have been manifesting as like anxious thoughts or anxiety in general with the gazelle being here um there's definitely some hyper vigilance to when this first when this person first met you they definitely saw you to be somebody very graceful um if there was some attraction here i feel like they definitely even if this is a platonic like connection i feel like this person noticed either that like you had a really nice figure or that the way you moved was really graceful you could be a dancer or something like that or just enjoy dancing in your free time um, but it was very obvious to this person that there were parts inside of you that you were um, very clearly trying to hide from the world, but maybe not doing the best job at, at doing so. Um, maybe you were doing a good job at it, but this person is just good at reading other people. But from what I can, from what I can see here, this person could tell that you were kind of doing your best to just feel secure with where you're at, especially with the security card here which represents the root chakra, um, it definitely seems like you were focused on your survival, focused on doing what it is that you needed to do. And if this was a romantic interest, it seems like you weren't really open and receptive to anything that this person may have been trying to offer you. Um, or it may have been clear that you were overcoming a really difficult relationship. And so maybe your view of connections or romance in general was just not something on your mind i feel like this person kind of saw you a bit as a kid like not like literally a child but just very youthful in spirit but still very tired it's like kind of this paradoxical energy where on one hand um you've been through some shit but on the other there's still an, a naivete to you i feel like this person recognized that you're one tough cookie and that you weren't allowing your struggles to hold you back but they could definitely tell that you were exhausted um for some of you you may have been like working or um you may have met them like after work because it definitely seems like you were trying to stay present in the moment when you met this person but it was very obvious to this person that you had other things going on they also saw you as somebody 
with a very solid future. Like, even if you didn't have anything to feel secure with at that time, I think that this person noticed that you had great potential for success. And that, um, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles being here, it's like they saw you as, as um, starting a new journey of some kind, um, or they could just tell that you were going places and that you would figure these things out. With the Eight of Swords being here as well as the Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords in reverse, I think that this person could definitely tell that you were a bit on edge and like you weren't fully present. And I think they could tell as well that you may have been like suspicious of them or just on edge in general there was definitely things like where this person this person was trying to be very respectful towards you and not say anything that might like trigger you or um make you distrust them because i think that they could tell right away that you were a really special person um and arguably everyone can everybody is special so like duh but I feel like there was, there was just this part of you where maybe you didn't see your own sacredness that this person could see. I definitely feel like if this is a romantic interest, they had romantic feelings for you, but I don't think that they expressed them or they didn't express them very much. Or they may have felt rejected if they did express them because it doesn't seem like you were very receptive. It definitely seems like you had more important things on your mind and it definitely seems like you were kind of closed off to them with the queen of wands being in reverse here i do think that there was a part of you that may have been a bit defensive or just like not very confident in who you were which kind of confused this person because they either found you to be very very attractive or and such or just very magnetic there is a vibrant energy to you where you kind of light up a room and it's almost like your spark was dimmed a little bit and this person could notice that. It's it's almost like this person was kind of confused why you weren't more confident in yourself, but they assumed it had something to do with your past or the things that you had been going through. With the world card being here, you could have gone through like some significant um, ending, like a graduation or um, moving or the end of a relationship. For a lot of you, I almost get the vibe like this could have been the end of a relationship and it doesn't have to be a romantic one. It could be a platonic one as well, or maybe just an ending of multiple relationships. But one thing's for sure, it seems like this person was kind of, they couldn't help but be fixated on you. Um, it's almost like they wanted to know what sort of demons you were battling. And it kind of seems like they were, they were trying to read you more, but you weren't really letting them in. Especially with this Afraid of the Attic card being here, it's almost like this person didn't want to be disrespectful by kind of prying into your life but they they definitely saw you as somebody that um had a lot a lot of opportunities coming their way i think they also saw you as somebody very generous so like maybe if you met this person in a public place like maybe you were um buying drinks for everyone or like um, getting a gift for someone or something like that. It's almost like this person noticed that you were very generous towards your friends. And if you had any difficult people in your in your friend group or around you, they noticed that you didn't take their energy too much to heart. But there was this energy here where this person like really desired you, but recognized that you were very closed off to that energy. So if this was like a platonic um, connection, I definitely feel like this person wanted to be closer friends with you immediately um but they felt like you were kind of closed off to that and i think that this person may have been a bit fearful of rejection but also they may have felt like they didn't want to push you too quickly or pry because they didn't want you to be suspicious of them and they really just wanted to they just hoped that they came across okay because they didn't want to push you too hard or um risk any potential connection that you two could have. I feel like this person really wanted to talk to you more deeply. I get the vibe that you met this person in a really public way where you couldn't really have a deeper conversation, but I think that's what this person really wanted. If they did make some sort of move 
onto you that you rejected. I feel like this person noticed that you're not not the type of person to hold on to things, like you didn't hold on to a grudge or anything like that. It seems like you just kind of let it go and continued going about your day or night. I definitely think as well this person, if this person knew about what you were dealing with in your past, I do think that they were incredibly impressed by your ability to overcome. I think that they may have felt a deeper connection to you or they may have realized that even though you were kind of out of off your game or not in your element or not not being your truest self, like they knew that there were really impressive elements to you and like they wanted to have the opportunity to see more of that because they just saw you as somebody that there was so much more than meets the eye and it's like they were almost kind of frustrated that you were in this energy because they wanted to get to know your truer self and they weren't able to. So I definitely think that this person was trying their best to get to know you while still, while still like maintaining a respectful distance. With the world card being here as well, I almost feel like th your energy was in a fixed place where they couldn't really, no matter what environment you were in, it's like your energy wasn't changing. And so I think this person had some sort of awareness, like I'm definitely going to need to catch this person at a better time or continue to get to know them because I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna really get to know them right now. And I think they could also tell as well that you were really tired and um, if you were if you were like out or something like that, I feel like this person noticed that you are definitely doing this for the people that you care about. You weren't doing it because you enjoyed it or something like that. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a defensiveness to you and like a part of you that was just really on guard. I don't think, I feel like this person felt like you weren't really paying them any mind or paying them any attention. Um, and I feel like they wanted more of your attention, but they didn't want to like freak you out or scare you. So I, I feel like it was kind of like, oh, I, I really want pile one to notice me more, but I don't want pile one to feel like I'm trying too hard or I don't want pile one to be turned off or, or be suspicious of me. So this person was just kind of in this push and pull energy where like they didn't want to be too intense, but at the same time, it's like they really wanted to get to know you better. They really wanted to understand you more. And I feel like they saw you as somebody really solid. You, They could have met you when you were like a student or um, working like at an internship or an apprenticeship of some kind. I feel like they saw you as somebody that really has the potential for a bright future. And one vibe that I'm getting is that once again, if you were around like mutual friends or if you had friends around you, they might've been kind of confused why you were friends with some of these people because your energies may have been different or they may have just felt like you didn't vibe with them as much or that you had a very distinct energy unlike the people in your group. Um, but definitely with the Afraid of the Attic card being here, it's like very obvious you were trying to let go of your woes for the time being and you were struggling to do that. It's like your typical dynamic self just wasn't really coming through. We have a lot of fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a little bit of earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energies. As well as the world, we have the fixed energies of Leo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, and Scorpio. But I definitely think that this person was like, really drawn to you, wanted to know more about you, wanted to kind of get to the bottom as to why you were dealing with this energy, why you were feeling this way, but they didn't want to be intrusive and they didn't want to, they didn't want to bother you. For some of you, um, you could have gotten particularly, uh, what's the word, inebriated. And that may have been something where like this person felt really protective over you or like, wanted to make sure you were okay. There is a sweetness to this person where like, they were just very, um, they were very aware of themselves and very worried that their energy wouldn't come across in an authentic way, um, especially because they could tell that maybe you were overly suspicious of really anyone trying to get to know you. So it's like they didn't want to, they wanted to get to know you as much as possible without, intruding on your boundaries or without turning you off. So I feel like this person 
really couldn't get the best gauge of you at first because you were you had some walls up and you were pretty pretty guarded so let's go ahead now and look at how they see you now i'm pretty excited to look at that because i don't know i kind of get this vibe like for a lot of you you maybe known this person for a while um or at least long enough for there to be significant change in your energy okay we have the ace of cups and the magician coming out but um because i haven't reshuffled these i'm gonna put them back in i definitely think that there may have been um some heightened emotions when this person first met you but i don't necessarily know if they were coming from you i feel like they could have been coming from the people around you and you may have just been like responding to it as best as you possibly could I just heard like caught between a rock and a hard place. So it kind of seems like this person was working with what they had, but didn't necessarily have much to work with in the first place. So okay, so spirit, what does the person on pile one's mind? What do they think? How do they see pile one now? Okay, we have the three of swords in reverse. Definitely have a lot of mental energy. This is the two of cups. We have the ace of wands. I'm hearing the song Honeymoon Fades by Sabrina Carpenter in my head right now. We also have the Hanged Man, or in this deck, the Suspended One. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What else, Spirit? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the, what is this, the Nine of Cups? The Nine of Cups in reverse, and on the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands upright. Okay, let's look at your oracles now. So to start, we have patience. Pause before you take action. Divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. We have relationship change. And we have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. We also have starfish. We have I am a healer. And we have concentration. I'm a little bit confused. I feel like you guys had one more oracle card. Is it? Aha, there it is. We okay, yeah, we have the heart eater. So wow. Um, okay. This person feels like they're shut out in some sort of way. Maybe it's because you got into a relationship or maybe it's because um, this person wasn't serious about you. You have a very fierce energy to you and there's a lot more blues here um, than in your past spread. With the Three of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person is recognizing that you've gone through a lot of healing but they definitely feel like they're on the outside looking in. I feel like they wish they were closer to you than they are right now. If you're dating this person, um, I'd be a little bit surprised only because it does kind of seem like you're focused on yourself or you're just kind of focused on what it is that you need to do. I feel like this person is recognizing that um, You've either got a lot going on or you're not really in a rush to change how things are in your life. It is quite possible you're still not really open to sort of like any emotional emotional connections or things like that. Or if you are already in a relationship, I feel like this is somebody who's seeing you in a relationship with somebody else and might be a bit a bit jealous of that. Um, but this could also be that, that um, this person is maybe jealous of your growth and, and how far you've come. With this concentration card being here, this is the third eye chakra. 
I feel like this person has noticed you've dedicated a lot to your own healing. And with the starfish card being here, I feel like this person is probably seeing you on social media or seeing you like in, um, in very like fleeting ways where they're not really getting to see the deeper parts of you. They want to, but at the same time, I think there's a part of them that's afraid of being hurt or afraid that you won't be open to them. I feel like they know that there's more than, than meets the eye to you. Like they know that you wouldn't just shut them out for no reason. Um, you, you could have had a reason to shut them out or maybe you're just busy. I definitely think though, um, this person recognizes that maybe you're not putting any effort towards this connection or you're not, you're not really focused on yourself. I feel like this, I mean, you're not really focused on them. You're focused on yourself. I feel like this person is one really attracted to you or one hoping or two hoping that they can almost reestablish some sort of connection with you. They, they definitely feel like they're not in your inner circle and I feel like they want to be. They also feel like you're not really concentrated on them. You're, you're focused on other things, on other people. And there may be like burdens this person has associated to you. Like if there's any difficulties in this connection, I feel like this person carries those and doesn't really know how to how to relieve that but I also think that this could just be this person notices that you're really busy and maybe you've been investing a lot into yourself I also think that um since you've met this person to now you've definitely claimed some sort of independence for yourself or excuse me um or this person may realize like the people around you didn't even know you the like well I'm hearing right now that Beyonce song like they don't love you like I love you but I feel like this person may have gotten the wrong idea or listened to wrongful advice about you and I feel like they are really upset about that uh with the relationship change being here I feel like this person wants your relationship to change no matter what kind of relationship you have with them and I feel like the change that they want is something deeper and something more connected to you but I feel like they're afraid of rejection and they're afraid of trying that and then not getting a good response with the heart eater here this person may have this idea that like you're a bit of a player or that um, you're not somebody who's interested in deeper connections, especially with the starfish card being here. You may have been really focused on like your physical appearance or like a glow up of some kind. I feel like this person is almost waiting in the wings like to make the right move towards you or to make some sort of move because they're not happy with where they're at, where you and this, where you and them are at in this connection. And they notice that you're not really doing anything to change it. And maybe you are, but they're not interpreting it as that way. I feel like maybe this person is feeling like the energy between the two of you is requiring them to stay back. Like maybe there's something about your energy that is just like, no, now is not the right time. But with this nine of cups in reverse, I definitely feel like this person is pretty unhappy with um, where your connection is. But they definitely hope that you are happy because I think that one thing that they've noticed is that from a distance, you're definitely focusing on yourself. You're focusing on doing what makes you happy. You're not focused on what other people are doing, um, what other people are saying. I feel like this person may hear about you through like mutual friends or just through your social media. Um, and it's like, they wish they knew more about you. They wish they knew more about what was going on with you right now. I feel like they've noticed that you've healed a lot and that you've grown and evolved a lot. And I feel like they're almost jealous of how much progress you've made because maybe they feel like they haven't made 
the same progress especially with the the hanged man being here it's almost like you've kind of surrendered to the flow of your own life and this person definitely feels like they haven't really they haven't really achieved the same thing and if you've built something for yourself and you're more successful and just focusing on you maybe this person is a bit jealous that they're not in the same place financially or materially I also feel like this person is struggling because they are a bit impatient when it comes to this connection. They almost want they want satisfaction or resolution soon, but they know that they have to be patient and they know they have to like just allow this to unfold as it will. You're definitely somebody who is putting yourself first, and I think that they are trying to learn to do that themselves. I feel like one common thread between the two of you is that maybe you both have prioritized others in your past and you both are learning to prioritize yourselves now instead but i feel like the difference between you and this person is that i think your your you're learning the ability to protect yourself and still remain open whereas i feel like this person doesn't feel like they can be open and vulnerable and still be able to feel safe and protect themselves. I feel like this person has a wish associated to you. I just saw um like a a dandy like like a dandelion thing just below by the window. Um I feel like this person has unfulfilled wishes when it comes to you. And I feel like they once again don't want to don't want to ruffle any feathers and don't want to close off the little communication or the little connection that they have with you. Um, I feel like with the starfish being here and the water element as well, it, it's like the emotions shared between the two of you have likely been very surface level. I feel like they really want to know you more deeply, but it definitely seems like you protect your energy really well and they're not able to it's actually really interesting like even though we're talking about you it's it's even it, it's through their perception and so i feel like it's like this person maybe they've been waiting a while or they're getting impatient but they know that they just have to continue waiting just have to continue allowing things to unfold as they will and i feel like they see you in the distance as this star like maybe you're doing well for yourself or you've got some sort of following and they might be like wondering like who's talking to you, um, who's, who you're entertaining, things like that. Um, if you've had a physical connection with this person, I definitely think that they're maybe overthinking about who you're entertaining in that way. Like they may be pretty jealous or like they might literally be thinking up of fake people that you that you're interacting with that are perfect and way better than them and and making themselves feel insecure it's definitely not a good energy for them to be in but because they don't have much access to you that's all they can help themselves from doing and that's definitely something that they're gonna have to heal on their own that's not something that you're responsible for I feel like you're really well protected and this person wishes that that they could know more about you without having to face you directly maybe because they're just afraid of what you think of them afraid of what you might say maybe this person did some stuff that you're not really happy with or um didn't treat you right with that three of swords in reverse it's like maybe this person recognizes that they could that they could have hurt you and they were already aware when they first met you that you're um you were already kind of on on the defense and had already been hurt in the past so it's like maybe they feel like they would be in the wrong if they came forward without really being ready to open up in an authentic way or maybe they're afraid of you kind of having the upper hand and being like sorry but i'm not really interested in having you in my life anymore because like i'm in a good place and i'm healing i definitely feel like this person kind of recognizes that the pause button is on this connection but it, it they're they're worried about pressing play or even attempting to press play because they don't know where you're at and they don't know that if if they try to come back in or 
interact with you, they don't want to be shut down because I do think they look up to you and it's almost like if you rejected them or if you didn't want anything to do with them, I feel like that would be really painful for them. Obviously, that's not your responsibility, um, but I feel like it's their ego or their self-esteem really couldn't take that at this time. And I feel like this person is seeing the results of your hard work, but not seeing the hard work that went into it. So it's almost like for this person, like they could have blinked and then all of a sudden you're doing really well for yourself. You're feeling yourself, you're doing well. And they're just over here, like still kind of struggling, still kind of trying to figure their life out. And they're like, how did pile one do all of this? Like, where did this even come from? But I feel like they're trying to be patient because they recognize that they have these insecurities and they don't want to project these insecurities onto you. And they also don't want to come forward and have you confirm some sort of insecurities about them. So it's it's like kind of this twofold thing where it's like they don't want to be rejected by you and they also don't want you to confirm any inner fears that they have because they recognize that you have an ability to read people. Um, the hanged man has Piscean energy attached to it. And I definitely think that you're a lot more emotionally astute and like emotionally in tune because I think you've healed a lot of the, a lot of the energy that you were in when you were, when you first met this person. And now that you've released a lot of that, there's more room for you to be more attuned and aware to what's going on around you. I feel like this person it's just recognizing that they want more here, like whether it's a more solid friendship, um, a deeper connection, but they're almost holding themselves back because one, they're afraid of the change it might result, two, they're afraid of the rejection that might come, might come their way, and three, it's almost like they need to get over their own ego and their own jealousy issues before they can come forward in an authentic way because they also don't want to affect you with their energy. I do think there's a triggering element of you for this person where because you're doing well or because they perceive you to be doing well, let's remember, like even if you feel like you're you're sinking or really struggling, people will judge you based on their perceptions of you, not based on what they can't see. So based on their perception, they feel like you're doing really well. And not only that, with this Ace of Wands here, I feel like they may may think you have a lot of suitors or that um, you're having a lot of fun in life and that you don't necessarily need anyone else around or that you don't need this person involved. I definitely think that they're burdened by their thoughts of you. And instead of kind of facing them and facing the energy they're dealing with, I, I feel like they just have this hope that, that these energies will pass and um, they'll either get over you slash this connection or this connection will come around and they'll have an opportunity to take action or you'll take action towards them. But that is the vibe I am getting in terms of how they are seeing you now. So I am going to go ahead and finish the free part of this reading off with some channeled messages from your spirit guides. This could relate to the reading or this may have nothing to do with the reading. I just wanted you to have some sort of element for yourself to hold on to. So Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile One when it comes to their life in general and slash or this connection, please? We have Cat. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others, which I feel like you're not struggling with that, but if you are, maybe that's a sign. Maybe it's over-dependency on, on self. If you're struggling with hyper-independence, maybe it's a sign to like reach out to people if you if you need help. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this, but I'll try. Pueo, it's a Hawaiian owl. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. We have Meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And we have Falcon. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. 
And on the back of the deck, we have stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. I think this is really important because depending on your connection to this person, you may not really be interested in continuing a connection with them, or you may be feeling like there's things you want to say to them, but you're not sure how they'll take it. And so I feel like your guides are really telling you like, you're not responsible for the outcome of speaking your truth. Like, if you have things on your mind or on your plate that you want to talk about, um, I think your guides are really telling you to speak your truth and not be afraid of what what the result may be. I also feel like with this Ten of Wands being here, you may be putting like too much on your plate because you feel a need to prove yourself or like I said, you might have some sort of hyper independence where you feel like you kind of need to do it all yourself and maybe this person wants to help you or wishes that you were more honest about the struggles that you're going through so i think if um maybe you want this person in your life more i feel like they would be really open to hearing from you or really open to um talking about life or just talking about things with you i feel like this person more than anything just wants to talk to you and they're kind of hoping that I don't like this, but I will be honest about what I'm hearing. They're kind of hoping that you're not doing as well as they perceive you to be because they don't feel like they're doing too great. And they're honestly kind of jealous that you seem to be living your life and doing really well. And yeah, I feel like you just existing makes this person kind of insecure, which is not your problem and not your fault. But yeah, I, I'm really curious to know who this person is or how you're connected to them because there's a lot of interesting energies here and I'm not sure how much of them will be for each viewer, but definitely let me know how it resonates. But I am going to go ahead and move over to the extended now where we are going to look at what is next in this connection, the future of this connection. But if you are leaving me here, thank you so, so, so much for watching and thank you so much for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. But if you would like to support me in other ways, you can like this video, you can comment down below, let me know how it resonates. You can subscribe if you haven't already. And you can click that little bell notification to be part of my notification squad. Um, you can also check out my social media, which will be linked below. Though do be aware, I have tons of scammers that impersonate me and pretend to be me. So if it is not linked below, it is not mine. And I do not offer personal readings. So if someone pretends to be me and is offering you a personal reading, they are a dang liar. Um, and I also have merch and I think that's all I have. So thank you guys so, so, so much for letting me do this reading for you and letting me read your cards. I really hope that you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this video and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, pile two. If you guys chose the Foolite heart, oh my God, it's a heart on a heart anyway <laughs> and the moon power tarot this is going to be your reading all about how the person on your mind what their first impressions of you were versus how they see you now if you skipped the intro i will mention that if this reading is resonating and you're enjoying it uh, there will be an extended link down below where we are going to look at the future of this connection more specifically like the near future of this connection and see what you can expect but by no means are you required just there there if you want it just grateful to have you here peace and love okay so spirit what was the first impression that the person on pile two's mind had of them when they first met? Okay, so we have the two of swords in reverse. We have the hermit upright. We have, what is this? The, is this the seven of cups? Yeah, this is the Seven of Cups. Um, I'm hearing the song Your Love by Nicki Minaj. Or should I say Nicki Minaj? Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles. For some of you, I get the vibe that you met this person online. Um, we also have the Empress. 
We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the King of Cups upright. And on the back of the deck, we have the Four of Wands upright. This is actually really beautiful energy. Um, okay, let's look at your oracles now. So to start, we have alchemy. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us have the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. You guys got two of these cards. So we have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings and patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. We have surrender. We have your light. We have love. We have the golden egg. And finally, we have I am determined with some Capricorn energy there. So this is really interesting. For some of you, like I'm getting two vibes here. This is either a romantic interest or this is something like a parent. It's really interesting to have such intense feelings for a first impression. Um, and for some of you, it almost does feel like this is apparent. Um, one, because we have the Empress card here, as well as, um, as well as like the death and patience. So like the ending of waiting with the Seven of Pentacles that also indicates patience too. It almost feels like this energy where like this could be apparent, like waiting so long to meet you and, um, the celebration of having you here and the beautiful energy of that but for others this could have definitely this could definitely be like an intense connection or something where well that was a motorcycle that sounded like a fart um this is an energy where this person like i don't know if i i believe in love at first sight but this person definitely does because i think that's what they were feeling um I mean, the fact that we have love with the heart chakra, the golden egg is also the heart chakra. Um, and we have the king of cups and the empress here. Something about your energy just touched this person at their core. And it's like they couldn't help but just unapologetically feel love for you, which is why it would make sense if, if it's apparent because it's like, yeah, usually I, I'm not a parent myself, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, Parents are inclined to feel that way about their children most of the time, hopefully. I definitely feel like, but for others, this could definitely be like meeting this person for the first time in person, like if you met them online or something. Um, it's like when this person met you, any worries or any confusion that they had was relinquished. It's like they knew immediately how they felt about you. And like with the hermit card here, I feel like, you're really the only person that like could get them to take their focus away from their own interests. We have Virgo energy here with, with the Hermit. The Empress is ruled by Venus, so that would be Libra and Taurus energy. And with the King of Cups, we also have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy involved here. Um, more Scorpio with the Death card. But I feel like this person just immediately felt drawn to your energy. They were very, very attracted to you. Um, or if they're your parent, they thought you were very beautiful. They thought you were just like absolutely perfect. And they saw you as well worth the wait. And it's like they, they any worries or anything that they were overthinking about before they met you, it's like they were immediately relinquished once they were able to be with you in person. There was a real dedication, like I will do anything for you. And it almost uh, kind of confused them because they never thought that they could have such deep and intense feelings for somebody that they just met. I also feel like maybe this person was going through some difficult endings in their life. Um, for those of you where this might be apparent, like, you know, the difficult ending of maybe you know, 
only focusing on themselves to having this whole other human to care for. Um, or if this is a romantic interest, it's like maybe this was a death of their singledom or a death of living life without knowing of your existence or without feeling the intensity of existing with you. I feel like you activated something in this person when you met them. It's like a light came on that they weren't aware of before. And being with you was a very joyful experience. Um, it's almost like any worries or fears that they had were immediately surrendered because the, the magnetic energy of being around you just kind of completely overtook any anxious thoughts or worries this person could have. I feel like this person is definitely used to dealing with a lot of darkness or used to kind of expecting the worst out of people, but it's like the light that you emanated from your energy was such a breath of fresh air and like I just keep hearing worth the weight. Um, with I am determined and this Capricorn energy being here, I definitely feel like this person just upon meeting you was one really impressed by your work ethic um if this was a parent i do get the vibe more so that it was a mother that it could be your mother um and maybe like if this is a mother like you could have taken like a long time to um the she or they could have had like a really long labor with you or um, maybe like your labor could have been like challenging, like maybe you almost lost your life or something like that and you were determined to stay and um, it was just a really, it was just a time to be joyous and celebrate that you were here. Uh, but for those of you where this is a romantic connection, I definitely feel like this person was really impressed by your tenacity, by your work ethic and by the fact that like, you weren't freaked out by their intensity. I feel like there's intensity on both sides, but for this person, maybe they experienced in the past, like people weren't ready to handle their intensity. People weren't ready to, to receive all of them. And this person just saw you as like so powerful and so accepting of them and who they truly were. It's like, you were just golden to this person. They they experienced something new. No matter who this person is to you, they experienced a new energy when they met you in person for the first time. For some of you, I just heard this is like, maybe you haven't met this person yet and this is what will be. But, which is interesting because this is technically supposed to be more past tense energy. But with that being said, I feel like... It, this person, I mentioned that energy of being activated and it's like, your energy just completely pierced through a lot of, um, a lot of doubts that they had about themselves, a lot of doubts about where they were going in life. And it's like, they, they had this realization that everything that they were doing in their life was bringing them to now, bringing them to, meeting you and I feel like the moment that they met your like looked at you in your eyes like they were done for like it was just like they felt that love and they couldn't they couldn't help it so many things that they couldn't see before were abundantly clear with you in their in their energy in their circle and it's like they were really grateful that they didn't fight the experiences that got them to this point because once they were able to be face to face with you it's like everything made sense and like they finally understood why they had to go on such an insane journey why they had to go through all of this craziness and it was like all the seeds that they had planted to get to this moment were worth it and they realized that they didn't need to question the universe so much because they could actually really trust what the universe was showing them. They also felt like you had a really beautiful balance of masculine and feminine energy. 
you seem to be like a very, well, I just heard like a very happy baby. Um, so if this is a, a parent that's coming through, but for those of you where this is not apparent, I feel like this person saw you as somebody that was just so lighthearted and go with the flow, but at the same time, like very intuitive and tapped into your surroundings. I feel like this person really appreciated the lengths that you went to to either like dress up or, or look good for them. Like they felt they were really attracted to you. Once again, that's if this person isn't a parent. <laughs> take it as it resonates um they were really they they felt like they liked your style they felt like you were adorned really beautifully if you have any piercings i feel like they really liked the the jewelry that you were wearing in for your piercings but oh my gosh this person is so sappy like you pierce their heart and they just they didn't know what love was until they met you. And this is really beautiful energy. They, and it, it gave them this newfound desire to continue pushing towards life, to continue doing what they wanted to achieve, to continue going after their dreams. It's like so much that they doubted about themselves, so much that they didn't understand about the world. It was like your presence coming into their life, like immediately made so many things make sense. And there may have been a lot of things that they, I feel like this person felt very sure of themselves before they met you. And after they met you, they, they just were completely confused, but in the best way possible. Like, wow, I really, I really didn't have everything figured out there. I really didn't know um, everything that I thought that I should. And with this King of Cups energy, I feel like this person just, these deep emotions were stirred within them that they, that they were not anticipating. And maybe they didn't share those with you because like they didn't want to be too intense about it. Like they could have kept these emotions more hidden and um, just kind of allowed the joy of the moment to take importance i feel like this person just did not want to scare you away or freak you out by the intensity of their emotions one thing oh my gosh yeah with the sun being here as well it's like even if this person is used to a lot of darkness or is a little bit more on the emo side or just not really um not really someone to be very peppy or or look at things from an optimistic perspective it's like you couldn't help but light up this person's world like they were just absolutely enamored by you and meeting you or being with you for the first time was just such a such a joyful experience for them and i feel like with this your light card like these two cards kind of seem just very similar to me and i think the reason why that is is because it's like they're both contrasted with this dark background, but then the figure and the candle in them just stand out so much. And I feel like you just lit up the room. You just made every moment we're celebrating. You made every like single second count. And I feel like this person almost got lost in, <laughs> I just heard lost in the sauce, but like lost in the energy with you. like. They were like a moth to a flame almost where they just couldn't help but but be around your energy and, and be around you. Just being with you was such a, a beautiful time, a beautiful experience for them. And they just wanted to take in every moment. Like they felt love for you the, the moment they met you. And maybe they didn't want you to know that because it's a bit intense. And this is intense, especially for a first meeting. But they felt like there was really nowhere to go but up and they were really really excited to see where things would go and see how things would turn out so let's see how this person views you now because this is some intense energies i must say so i'll get these oracles out and we will reshuffle these i honestly like the reason why the parent thing well obviously like the parent thing was just coming through but i'm like who else could feel such intense feelings for someone upon just first meeting which i i mean i think definitely can't happen it's just rare you know what i mean and by all means just because i don't know how i feel about love at first sight doesn't mean it doesn't exist 
I'm just saying take that with a grain of salt. It kind of seems like this person does, or at least when it comes to you, they did. Let's do one more spirit. Okay, so spirit, how does the person on pile two's mind see pile two now, please? Okay, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Fool in reverse. Wow, Spirit. We have the King of Wands. Border Collies could be significant. I think that's the dog in here. What else, Spirit? We have the Three of Swords. I just heard big oof when I shuffled that. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Tower. Oh, wow. And on the back of the deck, we have a, the Hierophant. Whew, okay. What's underneath that? I literally don't even know what that is. What is this? <laughs> oh, I think it's the Eight of Cups, but I'm like, what? Is this supposed to be the Eight of Ostriches? Like, wow, okay. So let's look at your oracles now. To start, we have received. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Interesting, we have more B imagery here. We have effort and we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. We have lamb. We have I surrender. We have healing. We have the ungrateful daughter and the earthly mother and we have green. Okay, so it definitely seems like some intense things have happened in this connection. Um, I almost feel like I'm looking at a story and I feel like this person hurt you or feels hurt by how this situation happened. The vibe that I'm getting is either this person created a situation that they that caused pain to you that they really regret and slash or a situation outside of both of your control caused a lot of pain to both you and them and it's been hard for them to deal with but i get the vibe like for more of you it's the first let me get a sip of water i definitely feel like this person really regrets how they treated you. With the ungrateful daughter and the earthly mother, I feel like this person took this love that they had with you for granted. Maybe they realized only in hindsight the feelings that they felt upon their first impressions of you were love. Like maybe they didn't recognize those feelings before. And it's interesting that we have the energy of surrender in both piles. I feel like you've distanced yourself from this person and focused on your own healing and they don't blame you. They recognize that, that maybe you're open to, to receiving their energy, but you're not going to go out of, their, out of your way to communicate with them and they understand that. It's interesting that the lamb came out because the vibe that I'm getting is that it, it, it's less lamb energy and more like this person is acting very sheepish towards you. And I feel like they, they are angry at themselves for their own weaknesses. And they recognize that they hurt someone very precious to them. And with the six of wands here, it's like they didn't celebrate this connection enough when they had it or they didn't. They didn't support you enough when they could. With the healing card here, they see you as not needing them and they see you as on your own healing. 
I feel like they they wish they would have understood what they had when they had it. And it seems like you're kind of off with your support systems, the people closest to you. And they wish that they could be a part of that, but at the same time, they may be intimidated by your friend group or intimidated by the people around you because they may know that, because those people may know what, um, what they did to you. My head hurts, like, doing this reading. And I feel like this person has had a bit of a headache realizing maybe that you walked away from them or that there was something more important to you than them. And I think what was more important to you was your own journey, yourself. And I feel like this person is like either very lonely without you or realize that you're fine to be alone and maybe they felt like in the past maybe one reason they took you for granted is because they thought that you would never you would never want to be without them or that your desire for company for people that understand you your desire for support super normal um, but their support specifically was stronger than anything else. Like this person may have felt like you had an intense fear of being alone. And so they thought that maybe they didn't have to be as focused on you or they felt like they could kind of do what they wanted and it would be fine because you would forgive them or you would always be there like with this queen of cups energy i feel like this person still sees you as an incredibly compassionate human being and sees you as somebody who has successfully overcome difficulties in this connection without them they recognize that it's hard to see you doing well in their eyes like it's hard to see you living your life and doing amazing things it seems like you surrendered this connection and I feel like this person has had a really hard time reconciling with that. Like you may have severed this connection really suddenly or a sudden event may have severed this connection and it seems like this person is still reeling in ways that you're not. And this person may be reeling because they realize now like the mistakes that they made and the fact that they They didn't, they didn't honor you. They didn't honor the connection. They didn't honor what you both had. And they may see you receiving things from others or they may see you receiving good things and they might be kind of jealous or they might be kind of sad that they're not the ones giving those to you. I, For some of you, I don't feel like it's jealousy. I feel like it's kind of shame, like this person couldn't provide you those things and as a result they they feel like they feel like less of a person I wanted to say less of a man um but obviously that's not going to resonate for all of you but I did want to mention that that's what came through they feel like you're putting in a lot of effort to achieve your own dreams and kind of putting them in the past and that hurts them but it may be very well justified. Like I almost feel like maybe you really went above and beyond for this person and they didn't appreciate that. I feel like they didn't, I feel like you almost sacrificed some goals as well that you wanted in order to try to make this person happy or to try to keep this situation balanced or keep this person happy with what was going on between the two of you. And now they realize that they, but they really messed up in some sort of way. With the Hierophant being here, I feel like this person is either seeking therapy or maybe maybe based on your suggestion too, or maybe they've seen that, that it's really helped you and they need help as well. But they recognize that you're a catch and that you deserve a lot and that you're receiving good things from the universe. And I feel like this person is hurt that they're not a part of that. I feel like they miss you a lot. 
but they also recognize that they may not deserve a spot by your side. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse as well, it's like they may have created some self-fulfilling prophecies here. Like they didn't allow things to unfold in a very like, in a, they didn't allow things to unfold in a, in a natural way. Like you seem to have an energy that's very go with the flow, but they weren't really willing to do that. They may have had a controlling energy and you may have tried to, to handle that, but it reached a point where you just couldn't anymore and you've taken control of your own life. And I think you see things really clearly. And if this person isn't a good source to have in your life or wasn't a good source in your life, they may be kind of upset that you've seen through them fully, or they may be upset that the love that you shared isn't enough for you to overlook the qualities that hurt you. They see you building, building yourself up and, and healing and evolving and also not being afraid to speak your truth anymore. This healing, this purple healing card here, I would point at it, but like, honestly, I feel exhausted in this pile. Like I feel so tired. Um, and like, I don't, I don't even have the energy to like move my hands. Like I just want to keep them down. Um, but that purple healing card represents the throat chakra. And I feel like this person, this person is really sad. I feel like they, they, oh, Listen, this is a side note. I don't know if this person partakes in like party drugs, like like MDMA or something like that. But this feels like it feels like they they've been really in this this it feels like they've been taking things that haven't been um legal and they're dealing with like the side effects of it. Like really extreme come downs like I feel like I'm dealing with a come down and and this come down quite honestly could be the come down of like the illusion of love being shattered or the illusion that they were safe in this connection being shattered and I feel like it's not your fault I feel like it's something that you that that you worked your hardest to like keep to keep in general and I feel like this person didn't put in any effort at all. And it's like your softness, the, the kindness that you used to extend to them, you don't extend to them anymore. And with the tower card being there, it's like, I feel like their world has come crumbling down in a lot of ways and they see you living, they see you thriving. And I feel like they're really bummed about that. And I don't know if they're bummed because they don't get to be a part of it or they're or they're bummed from an egoic perspective where they want to be doing better or they want to be they want to be on the same level as you. With the hierophant being here though, they feel like there's a deeper spiritual experience to everything that you've gone through together and they're trying to give this situation up to the universe because at this point they don't really know what they can say or do and they don't feel like you'd be very receptive to them. They see you as just doing better than them in general. And this person kind of has a dramatic energy where they're like, just leave me here to die. Like, I'm fine. Like, they kind of have wounded moose energy, you know? Like when you just moan like a wounded moose. That's kind of what they seem like. I'm not gonna lie, tapping into their energy, I feel incredibly drained. And I feel like this person could have been incredibly draining for you. And so if you did, um, if you did place boundaries with this person or separate yourself from this person, I will say, I feel like you made the right decision. Um, maybe not forever, but like, I feel like this person needed a wake up call and they weren't going to get it if you just continued to allow this behavior to happen. But it seems like this person was really, was really draining your energy too. And they weren't honoring the person that you were. They weren't seeing you in all of your divinity and beauty. They. I feel like they kind of saw you more as a trophy and something that they could, you know, kind of show off. But at the same time, it's like, even though they were proud to have you by their side, it feels like they didn't even, they didn't do anything to show you that. Honestly, at the beginning, 
dude, if this person love bombed you, that's not right. Like this person definitely could have love bombed you. And that's why we saw like that intense loving energy because I feel like the difficult thing with people like that is the energy actually is pretty sincere. It's just that it changes very quickly based upon how this person changes. And I feel like this person maybe is very fickle or sabotages good things or sabotages things that come into their life because they don't really know how to sit with themselves. But I almost feel like this person is a bit addicted to their own pain. And it kind of seems like you've had to separate yourself for good reasons because they're not, they're not a productive energy in your life or anyone's life. Oh God, yeah, this person's energy is like kind of exhausting me. So I'm gonna like distance myself from it and have my guides come through for the rest of it. But this person is going through a very necessary experience of coming to terms with their own behavior. I feel like what's important to say is they're not so far gone that they can't see their own flaws and mistakes. I think it's just that maybe they have a lot of ego and they don't like to see their own flaws and mistakes. And the way that this situation occurred, it's like they may have had to, to face a lot of difficult feelings, a lot of difficult energy, that they were much more comfortable with pretending like it didn't exist. And it seems like the situation, the energies around you or the situation between the two of you um, came to a point where either you couldn't deny it anymore and showed them the truth or the universe showed them the truth and you took the signs and took your energy elsewhere. And I feel like this person misses you, but at the same time, it's like, they're too prideful to even admit that. I feel like they, they still like have love for you from afar and they love to see you succeed. They love to see you doing well, but they hate, they hate the idea that, that other people may have your energy, that, that you may be investing your energy in other people. So I feel like this person tries to keep their mind off of you. And truth be told, this is a collective reading. So remember like the most intense energies may not resonate and this may not be like, this may not be for all of you, but yeah, I feel like this person, this person has some kind of problematic energies that they may have projected onto you or that they may have implicated you in. And I feel like you did the right thing and kind of severed yourself from it. And they don't, they don't blame you, honestly. I feel like even if this person has some issues, they're at least self-aware enough to recognize that you deserve better and deserve more, which I think is saying a lot. I feel like they see you growing from a distance and they're jealous, but at the same time, they're happy for you because at the end of the day, they want you to thrive. But I do feel like, especially with that green card being here, maybe a green card could be significant, but um, I feel like this person really like, like they, they're proud of your growth, but they're sad they're not there to witness it side by side. And I, I also feel like with that green energy being here, they could be using substances to kind of distance themselves from their own emotions and they're shocked that you don't hate them or that you're not afraid of them. Maybe you do and maybe you are, but they don't pick up on that. Um, and I think with the Hierophant being here, it's like this person has kind of given the situation up to the universe um, because the Tower of Illusions that they were standing on has has crumbled and they've realized that there are a lot of things that they were in the wrong about and I don't think that they're doing too well with that. And you know, what's really interesting is that this is supposed to be about you and how they see you, but it's how they see you through and how that makes them feel about themselves. So like this person is even hijacking the reading to be about that still. So I feel like if you felt like this person didn't really have your best interests at heart and loved you more as like a possession than as a person, I feel like you're absolutely right about that. And I feel like you should not feel shame or feel bad about any steps that you took to distance yourself or protect yourself. And if you recognize that you deserve more, I think you were absolutely right in thinking that because 
who like just sitting in this energy for a little bit was honestly really, really difficult and um, really draining. So kudos to you for taking your energy back and standing in your power because this is, yeah, this is not an energy to, to be in. I can like finally lift my arms up again. Like even my arms feel like heavy. Like I just feel like dead weight. So, wow, okay. So that's how they're seeing you and really it's how they're seeing themselves, but seeing you as well. They don't see you as a villain or a bad person. They honestly don't blame you for anything that you've done. I feel like it's just really painful to think about maybe how they treated you and and how and and what what that's what that's led to. So I'm gonna finish uh, the free portion of this reading off before we head over to the extended uh, by looking at uh, just some messages from your spirit guides. These could have nothing to do with the reading. Or they could have something to do here. I just wanted to give y'all something so that you can get some messages from the universe. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pile 2? We have Shark. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Yeah, I feel like Spirit's saying, like, you trusted your instincts. And maybe if, maybe this could be a future energy for some of you where, like, Maybe you're like, oh wow, I should trust my instincts here. I should trust what I'm feeling because this is literally how I'm feeling. Like, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Like, I wish I, like the reading seems so positive. And, and this is actually something I do want to say. You know, situations with people that don't treat you well or even Lord forbid abusive situations. And I'm not just talking about physical, but like mental, psychological, emotional, you know, abusers like don't just start out being that way like they do have times where they are on their best behavior they do have times where they are in good energies like that's why people get attached to them and that's why the people that in get involved in relationships like that end up feeling almost crazy because they're like it's hard to see a person that can treat you so well, but then also so horribly, like to see them in both of those lights. It's like you're trying to discern who the truest version of them is. And they always put up a good front, a good facade until they feel like they have a good hold on you and then they can start being themselves more. So I do just want you to know, like if you feel crazy or you feel bad or you feel like, you know, I should, you should have seen the signs before, you couldn't have because they were putting up a different, a different energy they were putting their best foot forward and unfortunately people like that change um actually one book that i think that you should read is called why does he do that by lundy barncroft let me write it down actually um and you can like screenshot it, it it's a very helpful book to read if you're dealing with any difficult energies um so it's called why does he do that? And it's by Lundy Barncroft. Okay, so here, let me make sure that's in there. So if that resonates or you wanna check that book out, and I feel like if you've dealt with any abuse either in this situation or just in the past. I feel like honestly, it's a book that everyone should read because it it is very enlightening about abusive people and abusive situations and um, nobody ever deserves that. And please do get help if that is something that you're experiencing. But anyway, we also have Meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And that might be something that you're already doing. Like this person definitely feels threatened by your friends because they see the truth of this person too and I want you to know that like your friends have your back and that they they love you a lot and are going to protect you we also have condor you're too enmeshed in this situation so step back and see the pic bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action and we also have spider trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten and we have seagull now is the time for deep emotional healing and yeah, I completely agree with that. This is definitely a really difficult situation to be in. Um, honestly, I will say, I don't know if, if watching um, tarot readings on this person, especially if they're a really destructive person, is very helpful for you. Um, maybe you didn't ask about this person and they just came through anyway and you're meant to hear hear about it. Um, I don't want to like 
assume your reasons for coming here. Um, but I will say, you know, that you don't deserve any abusive behavior. You don't deserve someone to treat you poorly. And um, I'm just sending you all my love. And um, I really hope that you're getting the resources that you need. Um, please, please, please get help if you're not already. Um, and do not be afraid to channel what you experience into any creative outlets so that you can um, understand those emotions and um, try to see them from a different perspective. Um, but I think that's where I'm going to leave this reading. There will be an extended, but I'm not sure if you guys are going to want to watch it or not. Um, I'm not going to not do it just because I feel like that would be unfair. So we are going to be looking at uh, the future of this connection, but I don't necessarily know what will come through. I don't even know if spirit will allow this person's energy to come through. So we'll have to see. Um, but maybe that's something um, you guys need to hear or not. I, that's up to you. But I am going to leave this reading here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and support. And I really, really hope that um, you're getting the support that you need. And you know that none of this is your fault. And um, please don't blame yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do my typical outro because it just doesn't feel right if I'm being honest. So, um, I'm going to leave this here and if you want to meet me over, over in the extended, feel free, but I absolutely understand if you don't want to. Um, thank you so much for being here. I really hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this video and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye! Hi there, Pile 3. If you guys chose the Golden Healer Palm Stone and the Luna Soul Tarot, this is going to be your reading. I really hope that you'll be able to hear the rain going on in the background. It's really soothing. Welcome to your reading. We are going to be looking at your person or the person on your mind's uh, first impressions of you versus how they see you now. Also, forgive me if I seem a little spacey or it takes me a second to tap into the energy. I had really, really intense dreams last night. Um, <laughs> survived a shipwreck, <laughs> you know, intense stuff going on. And uh, I'm still coming back down to, to earth, but I'm fine and very excited to tap into your energy because I already like it. So let's go ahead and start by shuffling your tarot and then we'll lay out your oracles. So. Spirit, what does the person on Pile 3's mind, what was their first impressions? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. Which way do you want this? To? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. That wants to be upright, so we are going to take it upright. What is the person on their mind? What were their first impressions of Pile 3? We have the Hanged One in Reverse. What I'm already getting is that you're hard to pin down. I don't know if that's in like a, <laughs> in a suggestive way, but I feel like for a first impression, it's in more of a figurative way. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in reverse, and on the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Do you want me to shuffle one? Okay, Spirit wants me to shuffle one more. I felt like things weren't feeling right, and so they were like, okay. One more, Spirit. What was the person on Pile Three's mind? King of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Cups on the back of the deck. It's interesting, the one thing that I've noticed just from doing these readings so far, in terms of like people's impressions of others, and then how they see them later, um, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of their own energy, like the person that you're thinking of, their energy comes into it because, you know, humans are so self-centered, we're always thinking about ourselves, and so it's like, it's always in relation to how we see ourselves. Okay, so let's look at your oracles now. To start, we have kindness. The energy of kindness reminds us to be considerate and wise in our interactions with ourselves and others and to find the root of our love through our connection to source. We have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. We have spiritual partnership. 
and we have compassion. I love how similar the colors are there. We also have gifts to the portal and we have positive energy. We have that and we have I can change my thoughts. These are definitely very closely tied together. Okay, so your um the person that you're thinking of, their first impressions of you were very powerful, especially with this tower card being here. I don't know if you came into their life in a very unexpected way or just the energetic impact of being around you was very startling. You could have met this person in a very startling way. Like Spirit's kind of showing me like meet cutes. Like you know how in like romantic comedies like the protagonist will be like dropping their books or like falling over and then like the the love interest will catch them. Like I don't think it was like that but I almost feel like this person, you came into this person's life in an almost serendipitous way. I feel like this person, this person felt a connection to you right away. And this didn't, doesn't have to be in a romantic way. This could absolutely be in a platonic way. With spiritual partnership here, I feel like this person felt an immediate like pull towards you and they felt like they were meant to know you for some reason. It's like they didn't realize it at the time, but the universe was granting some sort of wish of theirs. I feel like you could have met this, you could have met this person at work with the Three of Pentacles or um, you could have been at work and they were like noticing you working. I, Cause I do feel like you were moving around. Like I was hearing your heart, you were hard to pin down or something like that. So maybe this person was trying to get a read on you, but they really couldn't. Um, you could have also been surrounded by family or like friends that you consider family. I feel like this person was trying to get an idea of you through the people that you were associating with, but your vibe was so much different than the people that you were around. Or if it wasn't totally different, it's like this person was trying to see what was unique to you that wasn't unique to the people surrounding you. Um, and with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups upright being here, I feel like this person was hoping that more would happen between the two of you or that they instantly felt some sort of feeling for you that they didn't want to act on. And this feeling doesn't have to be like romantic or anything. It could be like um, they wanted to invest more maybe in a friendship or something like that, but they were too burdened by other things. But here's the thing. I feel like the oracles really speak to the type of person that you are because the fact that we have kindness and compassion here, I feel like this person was kind of blown away by the way you interacted with others um, by your positive energy. This is solar plexus energy. So this person um, took you to be very confident, but also very sweet and maybe a little naive. I feel like they they almost saw you in a sort of, um, we don't have any pages here, but I almost get the vibe that this person saw you in like a kid-like fashion. Um, maybe you are younger than them, or maybe they just felt they felt like your kind of purity in terms of like being kind to others and they took that as naivety, naivete. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And I mean, I feel like this person could recognize that maybe you had been through some, some ish um, that you were trying to release, especially with this back card here. But I also feel like you were, um, they noticed how perceptive you were but the fact that even though you perceived a lot, you didn't judge people based upon your perceptions. They also noticed that maybe um, you had a hard time going with the flow or you kind of like to be in control in certain ways. With the King of Wands being in reverse here, I feel like this person wanted to take charge more in this situation. I actually find it really interesting how similar, of course I have to mess up everything just to, get this here, but like the similarity between this positive energy and the King of Wands, I feel like this King of Wands is more representative of your person. That doesn't mean that they have to be um, like identify as like a man or a male or be masculine. Um, I just feel like they, they kind of have this like intense fiery energy. Maybe you do as well and that's something they recognized, but I feel like there's something about you and your energy that made them 
painfully aware of ways that they have acted towards others that maybe weren't as enlightened or aligned with them as they thought. I feel like they also, oh my gosh, and I even just noticed too, now I have to pick this poor king back up. Like, you see how, how wide his eyes are? I almost feel like this person maybe had some uncomfortable realizations where maybe things that they thought they were doing for positive reasons weren't as positive. Like this person, I just heard like nefarious intentions in my head and I don't know if this person has nefarious intentions, but maybe they like, maybe they realized where they just weren't being as authentic as they could and genuinely feeling positive energy really shook them in a way where they realized that maybe a lot of the people that they hang around or maybe a lot of the energies that they uh, associate with are not as pure as they thought. I do feel like there was something sad about your meeting. Oh my gosh, and we have the Knight of Wands underneath there. I almost feel like your person perceived you as more of a Knight of Wands um, because you kind of just have this energy of being more of like a go-getter. I feel like this person saw you as somebody who was going after their dreams and being kind of unapologetic about it. I feel like this person wasn't sure if they were going to see you again, but they really hoped that they would with this gifts to the portal. They saw you, and honestly, this is giving me kind of like a Snow White vibe. Like, like you know, the innocence and purity to Snow White. It's like this person saw your spirit and your drive to kind of move forward in life. And I feel like it kind of shook them in a way where they were like, oh, wow, I'm really out of alignment with myself. And I think that was kind of depressing for them. And because with you being over here, like, once again, we just have to comment on how similar these two energies are. Um, they just saw you as very dynamic. They could have seen you as very funny, um, very charismatic, but they might have felt a little bit insecure about where they were at in life compared to you. It seemed like they were comparing themselves to you. Um, even though they may have been further along in life than you are, it's just that your outlook on life was very pure in their eyes and your intentions were very pure. And so... I feel like for them, they were just kind of thinking to all, like all of their mistakes and the ways that they view things and that maybe they're not very healthy. I don't know if you were far away from home or something like that, but this person was really interested in knowing about where you came from and like what your family was like. You definitely shook them up. You, you shook them a little bit and I feel like this person as well may have been so, I don't wanna use the word triggered because I feel like I use it a lot, but maybe so um, uncomfortable by the realizations that they were having in your presence that they couldn't necessarily be as perceptive about you as they wanted to. But the biggest thing that they noticed was how kind they were to others. And not only that, the fact that they could tell that you meant you mean what you say and you say what you mean, if that makes sense. Like, they saw you as somebody very solid, somebody that they felt like they could work with or collaborate with in some way. I feel like they really enjoyed your creative um, creative spark if you do anything creative or they, they saw that you had some sort of spark to like make your mark in the world, to um, do something for yourself and with the nine of cups being here i feel like this person was really really happy to meet you i'm hearing like i'm hearing that song glad you came oh gosh i don't even know who that's by it's so long that's such a that's, a, that's an old song um one of those boy bands but not like not like one of not like one direction or big time rush it was like not even that big time the wanted is it the wanted it might be that. I could be wrong though. Um, but the song is called I'm Glad You Came. Like I feel like this person was really happy that they met you. Um, and But I do feel like they were almost trying to control an uncontrollable situation. Like they wanted to keep you near them. They wanted to keep getting to know you. And it's like you were kind of all over the place. And I don't think that was because like you weren't interested in talking to them, but just because like maybe you were involved in other things or you were you just had a lot on your plate or something like that. Um, but they knew it wasn't like you weren't like doing anything because you weren't, you weren't like, uh, blowing them off or like, you know, uh, ignoring them or something like that. It, it, it's literally like, they just, 
they like with this king of wands here it's like they wanted more control of the situation they wanted to explore the energies between the two of you um honeysuckle could be significant uh something i just heard um but it's like they couldn't and that was kind of frustrating i feel like they were kind of they were faced with a lot of realizations that um, they weren't as solid as they thought they were once they met you. And, and I feel like it makes sense with this kind of spiritual energy coming through where this person may have been like, oh, wow, this could be somebody really significant in my life. And I don't feel ready to show up for them. I don't feel ready to receive them. And it's almost like they were getting something that they really wanted from the universe, but they were like, no, not right now, universe, I'm not ready. Like, because with this five of cups on the back of the deck, I feel like they were really sad after, after they first met you. And I think that's because they weren't thinking about the connection that you two formed that night. They were thinking about all their failures. They were thinking about um, like the things that they didn't say or the things that they wish they would have said. They were thinking, they were basically thinking about a lot of things that were causing them to be very hard on themselves and they weren't really focusing on what really mattered. I feel like that's kind of a thing with this person. Um, and with this tower energy, I feel like this person kind of saw you as a tower moment and not necessarily in a good way because it's like you were something that they almost wished for, something that they wanted, whether it be like a bestie or something deeper. Um, and it's like they couldn't, they couldn't receive you in that way and it's like the tower of illusions that they were living in just got knocked down because they're like oh I'm not as far on my on my journey as I thought or I'm not as I don't have it as together as I thought I did and it's almost like they wanted to like hit pause on your connection and like almost like literally put you in like a cryogenic freezer and like hold you there <laughs> until they could like get their ish together and come back but I think at the same time, this person may have seen a lot of innocence within you and they may have felt like their environment wasn't safe for you or that their environment wasn't ideal for you. I feel like you had a really good impact on this person, but I think that this person's environment um, continued to keep them as like a wilted flower so to speak you know like when a plant doesn't grow you don't blame the plant you blame the environment the plant's growing in and so I feel like this person felt like their environment wasn't um wasn't safe or wasn't healthy for you it's like they wanted to protect that um that pure positive energy of yours and not corrupt it with their energy or like their friends or what they've got going on and I do think that this person had kind of a hard time reconciling the fact that they they may have been above you but they wanted to be on your level and I guess what I mean by above is like um by societal standards um I feel like they saw you as somebody that had like a loving family or had a lot of support at home. Maybe that's something that they don't have. Um, they may have seen you as like well off or as like saying like a lot because I notice I'm saying like a lot, but that could also just be my fault because I say like a lot. Sorry. <laughs> but um, maybe you apologize a lot too. But they your energy inspired them to want to take more control of their own life. And I feel like the sad thing is that you were really kind and compassionate towards them and they were inspired by that energy, but they couldn't extend it towards themselves at all. Um, I feel like they, they may have wallowed in some self pity after they met you. Um, I feel like they could have been a little bit like, uh, why am I not better? Like I, I should be, I should be more like, put together or something like that and, and they weren't I feel like this person refused to see the positives in meeting you the positives in what your energy could provide and it's like they were only looking at the negatives they were only looking at the things that that they were triggered by but they saw you as somebody very solid and I feel like they kind of recognized that maybe they weren't very solid themselves and they were almost kind of trying to 
release the um release the feelings that your energy was creating with them and yeah a lot of uncomfortable realizations for this person i'm not gonna lie um so let's go ahead and look at how they see you now because this is this is interesting and i guess i guess i should have i should have known going into this like that it would involve the person a lot because we do as humans just we're, we're just more focused on ourselves and how we perceive people is based on how we perceive ourselves in the world but while i am shuffling for this second part i did want to mention that if this reading resonates and you're enjoying it there will be an extended available below where we are going to be looking at the future of this connection or the near future of this connection what might be happening what you can expect you absolutely do not need to check it out but it's there if you want to just a little bit of bonus these cards are hard to shuffle but we're doing our best okay I feel like this person noticed that you were really goofy as well. Like, and not in like, maybe a little bit corny, I'm not gonna lie, but like, they, they thought it was really adorable. Like, they liked how, how silly you were and like, how goofy you were. Okay, let me make sure I have your oracles. Yes, I do. Okay. So Spirit, how does the person on Pile 3's mind perceive Pile 3 now? Okay, we have Judgment. And I feel like that Judgment card is so cool. Um, okay, I'm going to take the Queen of Swords, but I'm not going to take anything else. We have the Queen of Swords. I want to take the High Priestess, but I'm not going to because I just said I'm not going to take anything else. But if it comes out, we will know it's meant for you. How does this person perceive Pile 3 now, please, Spirit? If you notice, the cards are taking a little bit to shuffle. It's almost like they don't want to come out. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And we have the Nine of Wands upright. I just want to, yeah, let's move these over a little bit. Okay. How else did this person perceive... Pile of three, please. How else did this person perceive? Pile of three. Yeah, like they are not wanting to divulge. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords upright. Getting this vibe like your attention is elsewhere, your attention is not on them. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords. And on the back of the deck, we have the Fool in Reverse. Okay, let's look at your oracles now. To start, we have Freedom. Live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. We have Spiritual Career. We have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. We have Nightingale. Oh no, I want to put Nightingale by the Queen of Swords. We have I am supported. We have ignorance. And we have spirits to guide you. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and then I'm going to spill the tea. This person was wrong about you, not in like a bad way, but in a good way on, on your on your end. Um, I feel like they massively underestimated your power. And it does seem like they hurt you in some way. And I think this is probably related to the fact that they couldn't really, they couldn't really show up in an authentic way like their energy did feel a little bit chaotic and maybe they saw you as weak before or they saw you as somebody that they would just hurt but they 
totally underestimated your your power and your spirit. I feel like with that Ace of Cups in reverse and um, that was out there before, um, one thing that I'm getting is that they may have felt like you really wanted like a serious relationship or you were looking for um, something really serious. Even if it's like a friendship, like maybe you wanted like a bestie that you could like almost cling onto or something like that. And I feel like this person realizes that they completely underestimated you as somebody that's far more independent than they thought. And I feel like the person that you're asking about is pretty independent as well. And it's like they've watched you trans transform from like this sweet little person um, and somebody that they may have put through the ringer or somebody that's just been through the ringer. So like even if um, even if this person didn't do anything to hurt you, like they may have seen from afar or as your friend, people that have hurt you. And they just see you now as somebody so powerful and so unapologetic about that. With the fool in reverse and the ignorance card being here, this person massively underestimated how powerful a kind soul can be. It seems like at this point in your life, you are doing something that is either spiritually related, like a spiritual career, as this card says, or a career that is aligned with your truest self. This could be like an entrepreneurial career. You could have gotten into like a really, a really prestigious program or you could be you could have found your path finally of what you want to do um but i do think there is a spiritual element to this with spirits to guide you and i am supported and i feel like this person doubted how protected you were in the spiritual realm and and doubted doubted your power like in so many ways they doubted your freaking power and not only your power but the power of your voice with the nightingale the queen of swords and the knight of swords your ability to speak to others and to speak your truth is something that this person did not understand. Like, I feel like they associated kindness with weakness. And I think what they're realizing is that that's not true. I do feel like you may keep this person at a distance or... If this is a friend, I feel like this person could be pretty close to you and they're really impressed by just like your mind and your creativity and your imagination. But I feel like if this had if this person was like a romantic interest or there's the there's kind of confusion with what this relationship was supposed to be, um and if they hurt you, I feel like this person recognizes that that you've taken your compassion elsewhere. That like when it comes to them, because with this Queen of Swords upright and this Queen of Cups in reverse, like we they already know that you have this really big and beautiful heart. And I really like that in this deck that they used kind of the same figure for um, so, for suits because I do feel like both queens represent you. It's just that they know that you're not really extending your heart space to them. You kind of have a more cool, logical, rational approach to how you see them and how, how you interact with them. So they don't feel like that they get they get the, the benefit of your emotional wisdom, your emotional intelligence anymore. I feel like they didn't realize how either how like psychic or how tapped into the universe you are. So like one thing that I'm seeing is that they may not understand that sort of thing. And so they may look at it as just, oh, pile three is really intelligent. I really doubted how intelligent they were because they may not understand that there's a higher power guiding you. Like they, I feel like this person hasn't seen examples of someone being supported um, by the ether, by, um, by things that cannot be physically seen. And I feel like this person maybe feels foolish because there could have been, oh look, there, there's that five of cups coming out. Um, what's underneath this 10 of cups though? the Ace of Pentacles. It's like they could have had something more solid with you and they feel really foolish for not for not taking you as seriously. Because one thing that I am seeing is that I don't think this person took you very seriously. I feel like they kind of took you as um, being in your own world and being really precious, but like maybe needing to be protected at all costs. And I feel like this person is like, it's kind of Shrek energy, like go away donkey, like I work alone. And like, I feel like they didn't realize you were out here like being a Fiona or just being a very powerful person.
person, a very powerful character. Um, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I feel like they recognize that nothing can really get you down and they're very aware that they're, that they're hot takes on you or the way that they perceived you before is like they massively underestimated you. I feel like when we were looking at your first impressions, Spirit was kind of trying to put a lot of the positive things forward, which I'm, which I understand because this person did perceive a lot of positive things, but I almost feel like the amount of positive energy you, you radiated had a negative effect on this person because it's like they might have just seen you as too precious or too, too otherworldly for them. And you've made your mark in the world by being otherworldly and that just kind of blows them away. They also see you as incredibly witty and so they might be afraid to communicate with you because I think one, you could roast the hell out of them if you wanted to. Um, you might have some Gemini energy, like Gemini Moon specifically or Gemini Mercury um, or Virgo. Gemini and Virgo kind of have... Virgo is the air sign of the earth signs. That's what I will say. But um, they're really impressed by what you've cultivated for yourself. And I feel like they fantasize about you a lot with this imagination. But they they almost don't want to tame you because they see you out here doing you and like being independent and being free. Like I love how similar this Knight of Swords is to this freedom card. It's almost like... You've proved this person wrong in a lot of ways, and I don't think that they've told you this. I feel like your your work or your presence kind of speaks for itself. Like you don't have to, to go up to this person and be like, see, I told you I was amazing, like look at XYZ. Like they can see it for themselves and they never had to, they never had to talk to you to see your success. I feel like there are regrets on their end of ways that they may have treated you or the fact that they maybe looked at you through a distorted lens of their own poor self-worth. But with this ignorance card being here, I feel like they realize that they were not giving you the credit that you deserved and they realize that they are kind of ignorant for not seeing you or being willing to see you from a more open-minded perspective. With the Three of Swords here, I feel like they're really impressed by your ability to transcend hardship in the sense that it may still affect you, but you don't let people see that, you don't let people know. Um, and they also respect the fact that if they did hurt you, you didn't just let them walk all over you or just let them come back in and do whatever they want. Like. If someone hurts you, you set boundaries, you put barriers there, and I very much think that's what you did. I also kind of see here that this person is very confused by you because I feel like in their own shame, they feel like they shouldn't, they shouldn't communicate with you, they shouldn't talk to you, but at the same time, it's like they hope they'll be guided back to you. I don't think that this person is very spiritual or believes in, in like spirit guides or things like that, but they're almost like, like what magic is pile three tapping into? Because it's kind of impressive. Like the fact that you guys even picked like this golden healer stone, it's like you just have a lot of really beautiful energy that you radiate from the outside in. And I feel like this person, like I said earlier, mistook kindness for weakness and, and mistook your outlook to just be naive and innocent like you hadn't been beaten down by the world yet and i feel like this person saw part of themselves in you and they were like oh you know that'll fade eventually or like that'll get beaten down and it's like not only did it not but this person actively saw you getting beaten down or like figuratively and and they may have been the ones kind of attributing creating some of that energy and you come out of it like just more of a badass warrior and just more of like, okay, and I'm not gonna stop being kind. I'm not gonna stop being myself. I'm not gonna stop being, you know, me and I'm not gonna stop following my dreams and goals. I feel like this person is just very impressed by who you are now, where you are now. Um, 
The song Faded by Alan Walker is coming through as well. They feel like there's some sort of higher power guiding you and they're really impressed by what you've cultivated for yourself. They, they recognize that they massively underestimated you and they also recognize that they couldn't have perceived you in a, in, in a correct way or in a, in a more realistic, in a, not correct or realistic, in a more accurate way because their heart wasn't open to perceiving you. I feel like you live life from a very heart, heart, heart oriented like space. And I feel like that you, you give a lot with your heart and you are very spiritually connected. And I think that those are things that this person just didn't really understand. And so they could never have originally perceived you in that way because they weren't at that space or at that place themselves to even understand what that energy is like. I feel like they, they see you though as um, maybe not completely fulfilled. Maybe they um, want to rewrite the narrative here or make amends, but they're but they're kind of keeping their distance maybe because they feel like you kind of have walls up or they feel like you wouldn't be open to that. With the Ten of Swords in reverse though, I do feel like you may still deal with mental anguish and this person may pick up on that energetically. I feel like this person checks up on you um, because they do have like a deep fondness for you. And it's almost like even though they can't protect you, they still want to. And they might feel like I don't even have the right to based on like how I treated them or something like that. And the universe might quite literally shut the door on them if they try to get too close to you or something like that. Um, maybe because you are being protected. You could have like horse guides or like unicorn guides or something like that. Um, or those could just be symbolic symbolism. I think you have a lot of angelic energy around you, especially with I am supported. But with this spiritual career being here, it's like, even if it's not, even if you don't have a legit spiritual career, I think no matter what you're doing, you're doing it out of a passion for what you love and you're doing it um, to bring more compassion to the world. This person has a deep awareness that they did not see you in your in your full light and they did not see you for who you truly were and i think and i think they regret that i think they not they regret not being more open and i feel like one thing that they massively underestimated about you is your voice and i think that's partially because they didn't communicate enough with you um but your voice is really powerful you could have a really beautiful singing voice or just be a really good speaker orator um, and I feel like your words or writing, writing as well. Um, some of you could be in law school or like lawyers or something like that. Um, and maybe the deeper, the more like the, the deeper parts of you are something that they weren't able to see if like you met them in these sorts of environments or something like that. But there's a lot of wisdom to you. And I feel like they, they massively underestimated that. Like you're definitely an old soul. And I feel like your, your kind and pure, almost childlike heart kind of um, camouflaged your wisdom because they never had the time to see that part of you shine. And now that they have, it's like, oh boy, I was really wrong. And I feel like the truth kind of hurts them as well. <laughs> Lizzo's coming out here to be like, truth hurts. But um, they still want the best for you. I feel like they see you working really hard and they may notice like when you're really tired and stuff like that. But I feel like more than anything, they're really proud of you and they're, they're glad that they were wrong about a lot of things. And they're glad that you've continued to follow your dreams and your passions because it's clear that you're making a beautiful mark in the world and you're a beautiful person. And I feel like they kick themselves every day for whatever that it is that they did to you um, if they did anything to you, if they are just your friend, then I feel like they want to kick other people for what they did to you, but, um, they have a lot of deep admiration for you and they almost kind of put you on a pedestal where they feel like I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough for, for pile threes. So that's the vibe that I'm getting. So let's go ahead and finish this reading off pile three. I'm going to get some messages, uh, from 
your guides to you. These could have something to do with the reading or they could have nothing to do with the reading. Um, just take them as they resonate. I just didn't want to do this reading without leaving you off with something for yourself. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for a ah, There we go. There's the unicorn. Um, indulge in your creative, imaginative, imaginative, and magical side through some sort of artistic expression. We have cheetah, get clear on your intention, stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. We also have domestic cat. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others. I don't know if you have that, but maybe that's just for some of you. And we also have chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. And on the back of the deck, we have humpback whale, Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So yeah, don't be afraid to put some more... Sound healing especially, I think, could be really helpful for you. But don't be afraid to, um, you know, let loose a little bit and have some fun. Sing, even if you don't think you're a good singer. You're not required to be a good singer to sing, okay? Singing is for everybody. That's why we all have voices. Anyway, um, I'm going to take things over to the extended now where we are going to be looking at the future of this connection. Um, if you're interested in that, feel free to head over there. But if you are leaving me here, which is absolutely okay, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And thank you so much for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. But if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can like this video. You can comment down below. Let me know how it resonates. You can subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out the extended if you would like to. You can check out my merch, which is linked below, as well as my social media. Though do be aware, I have scammers pretending to be me. Um, I do not offer personal readings and I will not try to solicit a personal reading from you in your DMs. So that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for letting me be a part of your energy and letting me read for you. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this video and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 4. If you guys chose the Amethyst Gem, this is going to be your reading on the person on your mind's first impressions of you versus how they see you now. I hope you guys can hear the rain in the background. It is very nice to listen to. Um, so I hope you can hear it. And I did quickly want to mention that if this reading does resonate, there will be an extended available below where we are going to look at what you can expect for the future of this connection moving forward. And they have been quite interesting so far. So there will not be much bridge action with this deck because it is uh, ugh, very thick and very uh, hard to bend. <laughs> And it's like cutting my fingers up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but like, it's not that bad, but it's kind of annoying. But let's go ahead and see a spirit. How does the person, how, or how did the person on pile four's mind first perceive pile four? So we have the five of cups in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. We have the Four of Cups upright. We have the Hermit upright. We have Justice. I don't know if this is relevant, but there could have been an ex or you could have been dating somebody. Um, and this person may have been aware of that um, at the time. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Two more spirit. We have temperance in reverse. We have the nine of swords upright and on the back of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. I want to say pentacles for some reason, but that's not, that's not correct. Okay, now, for your oracles, we have transition. The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. 
we have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We have self-discipline. We have cast your sacred symbols. We also have the solar plexus chakra with transformation. We have the lizard. And we have I trust in divine timing. So this person's first impression of you, honestly, was that they could tell you were going through a lot. Um, but they noticed that you weren't trying to let that show. They could also tell that like, I'm hearing this song in my head right now, like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Whether you agree with that or not is up to you, but that Kelly Clarkson song. But this person could tell you were trying your best to appear balanced and under control, but there definitely was some things kind of plaguing you and that there was a bit of a lack of balance here. Um, they, this person may have met you at a time when you were in maybe an unhealthy relationship or stuck in maybe a really unhealthy codependent friendship with someone that they could tell just like wasn't wasn't working for you or just wasn't making you happy. They could tell that you had a lot on your plate that you weren't speaking about. And I think that they were really curious to know um, what was really going on because you had this very, this energy of like, oh, everything's fine, everything's Gucci, like nothing's, nothing's going on, but they could just tell that you were worn out and that you were kind of just taking things day by day and trying your best not to let what was happening in life tear you down. With judgment, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This person was trying to keep an open mind and not judge what judge the situation or judge what was going on because one, they had just met you and two, they really didn't know, um, they didn't know you. They knew your name, not your story, <laughs> so to speak. And yeah, they were really just trying to remain objective, but they felt like there was someone in your life who was very combative or like maybe didn't treat you very well. You just seemed very worn out. And it's almost like all the stress and anxiety and that you may have been going through um, was just making you appear a little detached from everyone, a little bit more isolated, a little bit more closed off. This person felt like um, you didn't really notice them or you weren't really giving them the time of day. And with the Five of Cups and the King of Wands in reverse, it seemed like you were really, really bummed about a certain situation or um, you could have been going through like depression or like um, you could have an anxiety disorder or something like this, something like that. I almost feel like um, those issues at the time when this person met you were very, were almost exacerbated. And with the hermit and justice being here, it's like you were trying your best to appear very balanced and like graceful and fair, but they could tell you were off somewhere else and that you weren't really um, you weren't really present in the moment. And it made this person sad because I okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. This person was very um, drawn to you. Even if they only saw you in a platonic way, they thought you were very attractive and they thought you were you were a very like high value person. I don't really like that phrase because I think everyone, well, I don't know, I don't, my beliefs don't matter. But like, they saw you as somebody very valuable. They saw you as somebody that they really wanted to get to know, that they really wanted to understand better. And they may have known you before before, like known of you before you two formally met and they may have been like kind of impressed by your transformation or maybe a little bit depressed about your like transformation and that could have been something that um, happened because of a really unhealthy connection that you were in and I almost feel like for some of you maybe you were already out of it by the time you met this person but you were still maybe grieving that or you were still in a, in a place where you are very, very um, defensive or guarded. 
One thing that I'm hearing is that this person may have like overheard or seen some sort of argument between you and this person. Um, that's not gonna resonate for everyone, so take that one as it resonates. But this person may have realized that like you broke things off or you um, were doing your own thing now and they felt like justice was served in that situation like they were they were happy that you got away from like a more negative situation but they could tell that there was a lot plaguing you and um they wished they could be more supportive but they honestly didn't know how to be um i think they could also tell that you were very sensitive and that you were very caring towards others and could identify as like an empath or be empathic i definitely think that they they felt your energy a lot and they could tell that you were sensitive to energy as well. And I feel like this person was really just hoping for the best for you. Like they weren't, they weren't trying to understand you that night. They were just understanding that they weren't gonna understand if that makes sense. But there was a caring element to them where they really wanted to be more helpful towards you. They wanted to they wanted to assist you in this transition or this transformation that you were going through. And they could tell that you were putting a lot of energy into your own personal transformation because it kind of seems like that's really the only place you had the energy to put your energy in. Um, you could have worked or st you couldn't still work there or you could have worked or been a part of like a school that was like a school or like a corporation or a business that was well known in the area with cast your sacred symbols i almost feel like ooh, or you could have had like very distinct tattoos maybe you and this person like have a similar tattoo or like have the same interest in like style of tattoos or maybe like your tattoos just really stood out to this person if you have them it could have even been something that you're wearing, that you were wearing, like that drew this person in, like maybe they recognized a symbol, like a Merkaba, for example, or like the flower of life or something like that. But they, they were really, they were really fascinated by you, but they felt like they, that you didn't really want anything to do with them or that you weren't really interested in talking to them. There could have been like substances involved when um, this person first met you and you could have been a bit like inebriated so that may be something that they noticed like you weren't in your right mind at one point or they may have watched you throughout um a period of time go from like kind of reserved to maybe more open but not not open at the same time like kind of like releasing your inhibitions but not releasing what you still had buried beneath you this person knew that there was much more than meets the eye to you but they didn't feel like they had a way to really get to know why that is. They could tell that whatever you'd been going through was complicated and that they didn't know, they didn't know you, they didn't know the situation. And so they just tried to be, tried to be supportive, but it may not have come off that way. I almost feel like this person may have just watched you from afar and tried to get more details about you from the people around you because it doesn't seem like they were getting much from you. Um, with the justice card being here, I almost feel like this person saw you as like a potential partner or somebody that they would want to be with. Um, and if this is a platonic connection, then I would say like maybe they saw you as somebody that would be a good friend or a good... Um, a good like person that they would get along with really well that they could have a really good rapport with uh, I feel like this person maybe saw similarities in you um, with themselves like maybe you both had a very maybe you both had a very like similar but difficult past relationship and maybe like they were really relating to that and like they wish you knew that they understood that as well especially with the king of wands being in reverse and the five of cups being in reverse i really feel like maybe for some of you you could have been putting forward this this front like you're all good and like nothing's bothering you um but they could tell that you were kind of apathetic 
towards life and kind of just going through the motions. Like there wasn't really passion behind your words. There wasn't really like your energy and your words and your actions weren't really aligning. And I feel like this person knew that there was something deeper there. And yeah, it's almost like you were restricted and the only way that you felt free that free at that point um, was through using something to be able to escape your own brain. Um, but if there was nothing, no substances or anything like that involved, then I think that this person just noticed that you were very, um, very restricted in, in your behavior and your mannerisms. They could tell there was a lot on your mind. They could tell that you were tired and they could tell that you just needed a break. You needed, you needed time. And so I feel like this person was kind of just, they might've perceived you as honestly being kind of standoffish or as being like not interested in them at all. And I definitely feel like they overthought how, how they wanted to communicate with you, whether they should communicate with you, things like that. It's honestly a really interesting energy where this person just really wanted to know who you were on a deeper level. But at the same time, it's, it's almost like they would be opening Pandora's box and they didn't want to do that as well. Like they, they almost just wanted to observe you because they didn't even really trust you to convey who you are at that time because you weren't really in, a, in your right mind in the sense of like either you were literally inebriated or you weren't doing well. And so this person like, they wanted to see you for themselves. They didn't want you to explain who you were or explain what you're about. But they were definitely curious about you. They were definitely unsure of of your true self but they were also a little bit concerned about what whatever it was that you were going through or what was going on with you um and they were definitely concerned and wondering like if those types of people that put you in this state or those things that put you in this state were still in your life i feel like they almost had this kind of energy where they wanted to they wanted to like kind of protect you but they knew that wasn't their place and that wasn't their their job to do but I can definitely tell that they cared about you when they first met you and they could tell that you were somebody who was working really hard to just be the best version of yourself that you could be and heal and grow and overcome a lot of difficult things. I feel like this person trusted that if you were meant to have a deeper purpose in their life that um, divine timing would reveal that itself. So they were trying not to be too bothered and just kind of letting you do your own thing and not... Um, bother you or, or get too get too far up in your space or take you out of whatever energy you are in because it's it, it almost kind of seems like even if this person had tried to help you lighten your energy it, it wouldn't have worked and it might have just kind of backfired on them so they they definitely restrained themselves in a similar way to you were restraining yourselves in response to the energy that you were emitting so I want to see now what they think of you now because this is a pretty interesting energy and I almost feel like this these, this person's first impressions of you, they, they tried not to judge you based on those first impressions. So I wonder what they, what they think of you now. I feel like they felt like there were a lot of factors creating this initial impression and a lot of those factors wouldn't necessarily be factors forever. So... Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what's going to come out here. This person definitely felt like you deserved better and that you deserved more than what you were being given or how you were being treated. I'll give it one more shuffle so that the skin on my fingers don't completely fall off. If I can shuffle things. Yeah, I definitely feel like your energy came off as like very tired and a little just like, like I don't have, like it just kind of seems like from their perspective, like you didn't really have the energy to even pretend or try to be anything other than um, 
to be in any other state than you were in unless you're part of that group that was like almost overcompensating for what was going on by trying to like convince people that you were okay. Okay, so let's see, spirit, how does um, the person on pile four's mind see pile four now? I feel like they could also tell you're a bit afraid of the world. We have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Hierophant. Wow, okay, this is already like immediately different energy. So this is already boosting, boosting my energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Hermit in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And on the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so now let's look at your oracles. So we have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. We have leadership. We have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. We have crow. We have I am happy. We have emotions. And we have the sword. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and then we'll get into this. So these energies are like night and day, if I'm being honest. Um, if you're not with this person in a romantic sort of way or in a like collaborative partnership sort of way, I would be surprised. Um, but if you're not, that's definitely something that this person sees and like wants with you. Yeah, they, um, they're very impressed by your ability to bounce back. Um, what's that song? It's like last night I took an L, um, but something, then I bounced back or something like that. <laughs> I, that song just came through, but like I, I don't remember it very well. This person definitely has feelings for you and um, they're very comfortable with that. They see the truth in that. And I feel like you've definitely bounced back in a way where, okay, I just got this random message. If you have a difficult relationship with a mother figure um, or if this person has a difficult relationship with their mother figure, they feel like you're nothing like them and that's something that they really like side note uh, on that, they see you as someone very confident and very powerful and someone who is really capable of healing. Um, there's, they see you as somebody that they either want to be in a relationship with um, if they're not already. If you are in a relationship with them, they're very happy to be in a relationship with you, especially with the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they saw your value and your worth from the beginning, but they're so happy that they don't that they don't have to just admire you from afar anymore. You're like highly psychic and I think this person is impressed by your ability to um, perceive what other people are thinking. Like you, maybe you are able to like pick up on telepathic communication or you just like, you're very good at predicting like what is going to happen next and, and what is going to happen um, or, or like figuring out like, like having an understanding of the past and, and recognizing how the past is gonna affect the future. And it causes you to act in very brilliant ways in your present. I think this person might get a little frustrated sometimes because you don't seem much of a, of a planner. It kind of seems like you fly by the seat of your pants sometimes. And that might stress this person out a little bit, but um, they're just so happy to see you happy. They're like, those are things that we can work on and, and build with. And I think this person is also happy to see that you're not afraid to express your emotions anymore. You don't suppress them like maybe you did in the past. You've definitely changed in really positive ways um, as this person has met you and maybe they've had like a good influence on you. Maybe they've helped you grow and evolve. 
but I definitely think that this person loves that you're so open with them and that you're so honest with them and that you're not afraid to be yourself. And I feel like this person feels a deep importance of supporting you and hyping you up because maybe in your past, um, the exact qualities that this person loves about you or things that you're insecure about because maybe past partners tried to make you feel like those qualities were bad or that, um, or that you weren't good enough the way that you are. And I feel like um, your person just really, really wants you to see yourself as amazingly as they do. They still feel like you don't see your full worth and you don't see how amazing you are, but they do think that you will see it in time. And they also feel honored that they are the they get to be the ones to show you that or help show you that for those of you where maybe you're not with this person then i feel like they they want to have the opportunity to show you that if you're not with this person there is kind of a, a bit of like possessive energy here where this person may really really desire something more with you they may recognize that you're kind of a force to be reckoned with if you're a leader in some sort of way i feel like this person really um really really wants to like take the lead here or hang on i got lost in my channeling this is like so much energy but it's good energy it's it's really good energy this person maybe recognizes that a lot of the burdens that you used to be held down by are not a thing anymore but if there are still things that plague you or stress you out like they really want to help you with them they maybe wish that you would let let them help you more with things I feel like this person really really admires your vision um you could have a special eye for design or you could have a really oh it's raining hard um you could have just a really keen sense of like what works and what doesn't you could be really into like feng shui or HGTV or like interior design or like fashion. I feel like this person sees you as somebody that's very stylish, very put together, even if it's not like what mainstream would consider style, like it's your own style, it's your own brand and this person really likes that. They do wish you were more confident in yourself and I think I already said that, but one thing that they love about you is that you're not afraid to see things for how they are and you're not afraid to be self-aware and you're not afraid to say like, you're right, I made a mistake or you're right, I'm sorry. Like you're somebody who looks at things very, very objectively and I think that they really appreciate that about you. Um, they can trust you to call them out on their shit and vice versa. Like you're not gonna be offended if they call you out on something. They also see you as someone learning to grow into your femininity. Like you may not be very comfortable in your femininity uh, right now like even if you are not like you don't identify as like a feminine or something like that um, maybe you're just learning how to be more comfortable with your feminine energy they really see you as somebody with a lot of talent who's growing and evolving and they really feel lucky to be a part of your life and if they're not a part of your life right now they really want to be a bigger part of your life they could be waiting on you for some reason like maybe waiting for you to be ready for something or maybe travel is something here like um if this is like a long distance connection for example like they really just want you to be happy but like they really just want you to be with them they're they're ready for change in this situation they see you as somebody worth committing to and worth being committed to and I feel like they just have so many feels for you. Like there, there's just a lot of desire here. Honestly, these messages are like really, really, really straightforward. They love that they get to be a part of your inner world and they love that they love that they get to grow with you. And they love that you're honest about your shortcomings, that you don't, that you're not somebody who like pretends not pretends but not somebody who who doesn't see their own their own shortcomings their own pitfalls and i feel like this person is really proud of how far you've come 
really proud of your growth, even, even if you're not proud of it, they are. And I feel like they, they feel really spiritually in tune with you. I feel like they're really impressed by your spiritual powers, by your spiritual gifts. Even if you don't think you have any, it's like your keen eye, like I said, it could be that or you're, you're very witty or you come up with, um, with really clever things at the drop of a hat. It seems like you're very creative. And I feel like this, you're, this person just sees that life isn't so hard to exist in anymore for you. And I feel like they feel really lucky that they get to exist on the planet as the same, at the same time as you and to be a participant in life with you. If you are a leader of some kind, I think they're really impressed by your ability to lead, by your confidence, um, or by your ability to show confidence even when you don't feel confident in yourself. I also think they're blown away by how many people look up to you and how, how many people are inspired by you. I feel like that's something that they want to have for themselves as well. I feel like this is someone um, that sees you being in their life for a really long time. I also feel like this is somebody that has no um, has no intentions of leaving you high and dry or um, randomly like walking away here. I really think that they they just admire and respect you, and it's like the more that they've gotten to know you, the more the more they're blown away by your spirit and the person that you truly are. Like especially with the hierophant being here, it's like. This person has watched you achieve more and more self-actualization and as that happens seeing you grow into more parts of yourself just makes you even more attractive to this person they see you as a great person to do life with and they are really grateful for your support like they see you as somebody who is really supportive of them and somebody who is very forgiving and caring and understanding this person loves your jokes, even if they're like dad jokes or like bad jokes. I feel like this person just is grateful to see you happy and to see you smiling and to see you in a good place because they've seen you and it seems like they met you when you were in a not so good place. And I think they're just grateful for the changes that have happened here and grateful for everything that's that's happened everything that's come about and i really feel at a loss for words here like this person's devotion for you is kind of unspoken and you may not even realize the the depths to it but this person would quite literally do anything for you and i almost feel like this person has a gift that they want to give you or something like that um but they also love your communication with each other. They also, I feel like you've, maybe you've helped this person set better boundaries or you've helped this person like cut out people in their life that weren't really, that weren't really um, authentic friends or authentic people in their life. This person trusts you to tell them the truth and they really respect you because you tell them the truth. I feel like they, they maybe didn't picture themselves as somebody being in like a long-term relationship or something like that. But with you, it's like they couldn't picture their life any different. Like, and they look to you as an inspiration to like keep going and to keep growing. They also see you as somebody with a lot of spiritual prowess. Um, I don't even know if that's the right word, but like a lot of spiritual power, a lot of, a lot of like, I just heard charismatic energy and like maybe you don't see yourself as charismatic, but this person has the luxury of seeing how other people perceive you. And I feel like this person wishes you could see yourself through your own eyes because not through your own eyes. <laughs> They, this person wishes that you could see yourself through the eyes of others. That's what I meant to say. Because you would have such a much higher opinion of yourself. But at the same time, this person recognizes that 
you know, your journey into self-acceptance has to be something that you do on your own. But more so than anything, they feel very, very grateful to have you in their life. And I also feel like they, um, they see a committed future with you. But even if that doesn't happen, they're grateful to have just had a small role in your life and to be a part in your life. Um, I feel like they wouldn't have it any other way. And I think that they're just so impressed by you and they, they see you as somebody on their level in a lot of ways. And if not above them in a lot of ways, and I feel like they love your take charge attitude and the attitude you have towards life when you are feeling confident in yourself and when you are ready to like take take life on. I feel like it's just something that they find incredibly attractive. I think they find you incredibly attractive and magnetic. They love your independence. They love they love the fact that if they aren't like if you are in a relationship with this person, they love the fact that even though you guys are together, they don't feel like they're tied down to anyone or tied down to anything. You give you give this person the room and the freedom to do what makes them happy. And I feel like this person is just really proud of all the changes that you've gone through together, all the changes that you've gone through as individuals and how you've evolved. And I feel like this person just wants to keep moving forward with you, if I'm being honest. Like you make life a lot easier and they hope that they make life a lot easier for you. Like really the only desires that they have is to maybe like build more with you and, and see where things go. But they're just really grateful for you and for everything that you both have built together or everything that you will build together. They're grateful for your presence. They're grateful for what they've learned from you. And yeah, you give them butterflies. Or should I say crows? Like, I feel like there's a, there's a darkness to this connection where you guys aren't very like sunshiny rainbow type of people. Um, I feel like you're very realistic, but at the same time, like this person, no matter how long you've been with this person or no matter how long you've known this person, like this person still is caught by surprise sometimes when they think about how, how lucky they are to have you in their life, how lucky they are to know you, how lucky they are to be around you. And they recognize that your presence in their life is a sign that they must have done something right um, for the universe to bless them with a beautiful person like you. So pile four, I'm going to finish off the free portion of this reading with some messages from your spirit guides. These, this could have nothing to do with this connection or this reading. Um, I just wanted to leave you guys off with a little something for yourselves. So spirit, what messages do you have for pile four when it comes to their life? Indulge in your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some sort of artistic expression. We have manatee. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. We have Taurus. Taurus. Taurus energy. Oh, well, Taurus energy is here with the Hierophant, but I meant to say tortoise. You're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. We have Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't think ting Ugh, don't take things too seriously. And finally, on the back of the deck, we have Gorilla. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. So pile four, um, I think this is where I'm going to leave things. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And thank you so much for letting me read your cards. And thank you so much for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me and my channel. But if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can check out the extended. You can like this video. You can comment down below. Let me know how it resonates. You can subscribe if you haven't already. You can click that little notification bell uh, to be notified whenever I upload a new video. You can check out my merch, which is linked below, as well as uh, my social media. Though do be aware, I have a lot of scammers pretending to be me and pretending to impersonate me. So please be careful. If it's not linked on my channel, it is not mine. I only have one account. I don't have backups. And yeah, I won't solicit private readings from you in your DMs. So 
that's all I have. Thank you guys so, so, so much for letting me be a part of this reading and for being a part of your day. I really hope you all have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is that you're watching this video, and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye!